How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time stopping by, I appreciate you checking out today's video. Today I want to talk about some of the extensions that I recommend streamers using over on Twitch. But before I get into that, I do want to talk about today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is own.tv. If you're looking for professional looking overlays that are completely modulable to you, that way your overlay is not looking like everybody else's overlay to help you kind of stand out. They definitely have a ton for you to go through. They also have stuff for like your stream deck. If you're looking for icons for that, if you need animated emotes, if you need static emotes, if you need sub badges, bit badges, it doesn't matter. They got a lot of stuff. So definitely go ahead, check out the link in the video description below. And if you do end up buying anything, make sure you use the promo code Creovox. This is going to take 50% off of the entire total of your order. So be sure to go ahead and use that, save some money, get some awesome graphics for your stream. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So I'm going to transition us to the computer screen so you can see some of these extensions that I want to talk about today. There are going to be some timestamps in the video description below. That way you can just jump to them. That way you can get all the information you need for them. And if you want some more in-depth information about these extensions, I can try to make a follow-up video to this one. But let me know in the comment section below. All right, so the first one on the list is the stream closed captioner. This is a really good one to have. There are many different variations of closed captionings that you can do, whether it's through the extensions here on Twitch. There are some that are on different websites and you can kind of just pick and choose whichever one's going to be good for you. But for this one, it's pretty easy to set up. But with closed captioning, it's really good to have because you have some people who are hard of hearing and then you also have those who might be watching in a really noisy area and they just won't be able to hear it without disturbing those around them like those who are on like subways and trains and different areas like streets and stuff like that that is really loud so they have that option here where they could just read what's going on and even sometimes people at work they you know have it muted and they want to still watch a stream so this is a really cool thing to have but when you do go and configure it it's going to give you this information here and you're going to visit this website and you are going to have to log in with your Twitch. And when you do that, then it will bring you to something like this. Now, one thing I do want to mention is you do want to make sure that this is turned on, having the Twitch extension caption turned on. But if you're wanting to have the VOD to still show the closed captioning, you need to be using the OBS WebSocket. So if you have any other like questions or anything about it, I definitely recommend going to the FAQ because it does have some information here that might be able to answer some of the questions that you do have. But it is a really cool thing to add. Like I said, this is a really easy one to set up, but there are some other options out there that might be less of a headache, but they still do the same thing. Uh, but definitely go ahead and check this one out. So the second one on the list, which is my personal favorite, is the sound alerts. There are different variations of sound alert extensions, but this is the one that I really like using the most and they always seem to be adding some new stuff to it. So definitely always check back to the configuration if you do decide to use this one. So when you do configure it, you're going to open up your dashboard you're going to log in with your Twitch and everything like that. And you're going to be presented with something like this. So for this, it will show you your activity feed, like who's used what, what type of sound that we can kind of gauge what sounds are being used the most. If you go to your alerts, you can have it set for the extension itself for the alerts and you can have up to 30 in that extension. And then you can do channel points. You can have up to five. You can set those channel points to whatever you want them to be. And then for other alerts, this one I don't have set up, but you can have it set up for when a new follower comes in, a new subscription and so on and so forth. For the sounds, you can upload your own sounds. You can favorite sounds. You can search a bunch of different sounds in here. They got different types of, I guess, like genres like funny genre party I don't, I don't know what you would call it but emotions i guess surprise emotions that makes more sense genres is music <laughs> um for the overlay i don't mess with it insight this again gives you some ideas of like you know who's done what and how much and everything like that and then in your settings if you ever need to change anything in here you can and same thing with uh setup this will kind of walk you through depending on which one you use that way you understand how to set everything up because it does need to use a browser source in OBS or Streamlabs OBS and so on and so forth to be able to set that up. Um, if you need to know how to use browser source, 
I will link that in the card above and also in the video description below as I do cover how to do that in a separate video. But yeah, sound alerts is pretty cool. I like sound alerts. All right, so the third one is WiseBot Streaming Notice. This is actually really cool. It's a great way for you to be able to display some type of question or maybe like a just a, a notice to them to let you know like, hey, this is what we're doing, and then it disappears. So it says here that you can display a message or notification to your viewers directly on your channel player. Then your message will be displayed when the viewer opens your live. The message is automatically hidden after a few seconds or when the viewer clicks the button that is located on the window. It is also possible for him to not redisplay the window after it refreshes. So, for example, you can use this extension to inform your viewers that you are broadcasting a replay, make an important announcement, or just say hello. So this is a really cool thing. I like this because it doesn't have to permanently stay on your actual overlay and everything like that. It's on the channel player, it's built into Twitch, but when you configure it, it's gonna bring you to WiseBot's website, you're gonna log in and everything, you'll be presented with something like this. So you'll have different notices, up to five notices, and you can have them be different things. So I made a generic one here, just saying that I was trying out a new game, no backseat gaming, advice is welcome when asked. If I go to notice number two, it's completely blank. If I go back to notice number one, then it's okay. It's back to what it was. So this stuff will display on the player. Nothing else is needed. You just configure it here on the website. It goes uh, through the extension. They click it away whenever they don't want it to see it anymore. And then that's it. So it's pretty cool. I like being able to add stuff like that. That way it's not permanently on the overlay. That way if I'm trying to show a VOD, I don't have this giant like message going across my VOD as well. So that's pretty cool. And the final one is one that I think a lot of affiliates have used in the past. I don't know if a lot of people still use this, but having the Prime subscription and Loot Reminder I think is still good to have because some people forget that they have Amazon Prime and they forget that that's a free sub that they can use to any of the streamers that they want to support. You know, they don't have to go and spend that $5 or whatever to be able to support them because they, you know, they already spend the money for Amazon Prime. So they have, you know, Twitch Prime and stuff like that. So if you were configuring it and everything like that, you know, you can just follow these informations here. It's really easy to set up. And then once you have that all set up, then, you know, it's good to go. But those are pretty much the four that I recommend everybody using. It's nothing too crazy. And I think that it helps out everybody. You know, you got your notices, you got the closed captioning to help those with hard hearing or in spaces that they just can't listen to the stream. You got some fun sound alerts that you can really customize your channel to. And then just a reminder that you're, you know, you're able to accept prime subscriptions and stuff like that. And that way they can support you financially if they want to. So, but yeah, if you have any questions about any of these four that I mentioned here, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I can try to answer them there or I can make a follow-up video like I said. But thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.